Hello everyone, and welcome to your second of two You Pick Tuesday comparison requests. Let's get William Bonac versus Nick Walker. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why they requested this one. It's because of the whole thing, the whole Instagram battling back and forth. And guys, I know I could get a huge audience from that type of video. They're having a little... Well, I don't even... It, it's not even a thing, really. But it's Instagram bickering that this match really is is all a boot. And I don't like to really cater to those type of videos. I like to treat it as if it's a sport. And Bonac apparently, and he didn't even really, apparently called Nick Walker overhyped. And he didn't even really say his name. He, he might not even have been, been him. But anyway, I think it's blown out of proportion. Let's have the match anyway, because you know what? Strip this storyline out of the way, and these two would make for an outstanding matchup. The judges would have their hands full, for sure. Nick Walker packs a punch, trust me. And if anybody's underrated, it's William Bonac, and I'll tell you why. It's because he's always being compared with the top men. Top men. So, really, people say, you know, he's not that good, he's not that great. Well, compare him up against a guy like Nick Walker, who is not overhyped, and that's the thing. It's bodybuilding. You can't really overhype somebody, because once you see them, it is what it is. So, he's hyped because he's good. Look at him. He's holding his own, more than holding his own, against Bonac. Pan back, though, then I think Bonac would have a better balance as far as the lower half, upper half. And maybe the midsection as well. Bonac means business, guys. But so does Nick Walker. So does Nick Walker. And I'm surprised to say that it is close in this one. Go to the front lats, bread, run through the poses. This is a close one as well, guys. Nick Walker. His, first of all, his left quad bigger than his right one. But look at Bonac. His left quad bigger than his right one. Maybe not as noticeable as Nick Walker's, but... You can see it. You can see it. I think a better V-taper here for Bonac, because you can see it, I think. Nick Walker's arms, I guess, are too big. He's kind of... He's putting his elbows, trying to touch his elbows with each other. You know what I'm saying? Bonac holds his elbows out. And that, I think, is a better a better technique. Bonax. But coming out of the first two shots, guys, and this... Kind of surprises me, I guess, but I don't know honestly which way I would have thought who was winning. But it's very close coming out of the first two shots. And maybe even an edge to Bonac. Side, chest, development. For the most part, Nick Walker wins the first shot. And then he kind of usually loses the side chest. But ditto with Bonac, in my opinion, that is. A lot of people like the Bonac side chest. Full of striated muscle. But it is more reminiscent of a most muscular. If you know what I'm saying, guys. Tilts a little bit. Too much. Of course, he's, he's, his technique's not bad in this one. This one. I think it's previous versions. He kind of made it into a front chest instead of a side chest. I'm a loss for words, guys. This match, very close. Muscle size, quality, maybe in... Um, Muscle separation edge for Bonac, but I think a size and maybe vascularity edge for Nick Walker. The overhyped Nick Walker. <laughs> Go to the side tricep. And that's all it was, guys. You could watch the video on Nick's Strength and Power. And that's what I'm saying, you know. He, hey, people love that. I watched it. I watched it myself. Now, this one, much like the first two even, much much, much like the first three shots, could go either way. Kind of a judge, am I? Could go either way. Of course it could go either way. Which way, Marks? Which way? Ah. I gotta kind of have a favorite heading in before we uh, turn these guys around. And I think, honestly, I might give Bonac an edge. He seems to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Maybe. Maybe. Go to the back shot. Rear. Lot spread. Oh boy. Oh my. I never thought it was going to be this close. Nick Walker, always dominant in this shot. But then, nine times out of ten, Bonac can... 
usually does win the shot as well. Nick Walker, man, oh man, he's wider. He's bigger. More detail in the traps. More thickness, more prominent lat insertions for Bonac. Lower half. I might even give the hamstrings to, to Nick Walker. But look at the glutes. Look at those glutes on Bonac. And for you glute haters, hey, you're out of luck. Because for you glute lovers, I'm sure you see Bonac as one of the best. His badonkadonk, way bigger, way wider than uh, Nick Walker's. Looks like a bull, does Nick. And uh, Bonac, more of a horse. A horse buttocks. Go to the rear, go to the rear double by. Get serious for this one. It's You Pick Tuesday. It's You Pick Tuesday. Probably get a large audience be over this one because you guys will think I'm going to be talking about the Instagram post made by William Bonac. Anyway, guys, this is a. Uh, I was going to say a, 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 a Nick Walker victory, but I don't know. I don't know. I think every single shot could go either way, including both back shots. Nick Walker is just so gosh darn big. He might get an edge, but I don't know. Go to the abs and thigh. Aha. Finally. <laughs> we can give a breath of fresh air. <sighs> country air, no doubt. You don't live in the city, you live in the country. This one here, definitely Nick Walker. Structurally speaking, very similar, these two dudes. Maybe a better muscle separation for Bonac, but you might not tell that by this shot. I'm talking about most of the other shots. But a vascularity and size advantage, I think, for Nick Walker. At least using this type of Bonac. I mean, Bonac at one time, probably 10, 15, 20 pounds bigger than this. And just as conditioned. But using these two versions, I think Nick Walker... Without a doubt, without a doubt, he's winning this shot. Finish this round robin matchup off. Very good matchup. Kind of a loss for words. When it comes to trying to be serious and judging these two, you really can't pick one guy in your mind and then start saying all the good points about it. When I say it could go either way, depending on your... You know, depending on your taste, your flavor, that's serious. It could honestly go either way. Now, in this one, I mean size, exact same. Conditioning, maybe an edge to Walker, but I, I don't know. I don't know. He's got more shine, more vascularity. Better pecs for Bonac. Better quality of the, ar quality of the arms for Bonac. Muscle separation, things of that nature. You can see that. But Nick Walker has better abs. Good legs, good legs. Some people don't like the vascularity on uh, Nick Walker's, uh, in particular the calves. Do I? I'm not going to dock him over it. You know, I don't look for vascularity in bodybuilding, right? But I don't know, guys. This one, this matchup, very close. Cut right down the middle. Here's your winner, William Bonac. I think he is just a little bit more... Aesthetically pleasing, if you can believe that one. I think he was winning the first two shots. To be honest with you, the midsection was too much in the front double. And the V-taper was a little bit too good in the uh, in the front lat. And the two side shots, guys, the two back shots, ladies and gentlemen, could have went either way. It was almost giving an edge to Bonac in the rear lat, though. Maybe an edge to... Maybe an edge to Walker in the rear double. Oh, gosh darn it. Could have went to Walker because of the abs and thigh pose. But, geez louise, I had to go with one one guy. And I'm going to go with the guy that's on top. You know, he's, was he fifth at the Olympia? Maybe should have got fourth. Hard to say. Hard to say. Of course, Akeem was nipping on his heels as well. Nick Walker, guys, he's good. He's not overhyped. Can't really overhype a bodybuilder, like I said. You see what it is, you know. You can compare them. Do your own, uh, do your own uh, analyses, proper. Anyway, guys, little bit of a little bit of a shout out to Louis Marco. Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on this video and let me know who you think won this one. You think Nick Walker? You think Nick Walker should have won? Size, vascularities, or the more mature? Muscle separation, 
Muscle Maturity for Bonac. Who do you guys think won? Have a great day.